in this uh, presentation uh, i am going to discuss uh, how to evaluate uh, quartz uh, minerals in this uh, slide we can uh, explain type of uh, quartz rose quartz smoky quartz uh, milk quartz and uh, clear quartz in addition there are some gem varieties uh, example citrine and amethyst uh, so rose quartz smoky quartz clean quartz and milky quartz among these types milky quartz has uh, higher demand because uh, in electronic industry uh, we have to produce uh, chips and fiber optics like that so then we have to uh, produce 99 plus 9996 uh, percentage silicon dioxide quartz so milky quartz naturally available 99 plus so then after we have to add some value addition process then we can increase their purity uh, silicon dioxide purity up to 99.9996 we can go to next slide and see about uh, milky quartz milky quartz also can be categorized according to their purity you can see um, left hand side white color high purity uh, uh, quartz is available 99 plus uh, quartz low grade is uh, right hand side so then uh, here the outer surface is a uh, little bit brown due to the mud and combination but inside there may be some uh, significant amount of uh, high grade uh, quartz we can see uh, this scenario in this slide we compare after crash high grade quartz lumps as well as low grade quartz lumps we can see high grade quartz lumps it can produce small white color grids even low grades also they produce uh, moderate level white color chips or grids but when we are producing these white color uh, low grade grids there are some uh, impurity material also there we never throw it out we keep it by the side and we have to use this low grade very low grade to another uh, value addition we can see this slide after produce grids high grade uh, quartz grids and low grade quartz grids are However, high grade quartz grids are 99 point plus. Low grade uh, quartz purity is below 99 plus level, below 99. But when you are crushing, significant amount iron uh, is uh, accumulated in the product. How? Because when we are going to crush, we have to use primary crushers, secondary crushers, or tertiary crushers, grinding mills. Uh, due to this process, then uh, external ions uh, can be accumulated. Not only that, lump also has little bit uh, iron impurities. This is also accumulated. We call that total ions. Uh, total amount of iron is so after crush grit then we have to crush powder then we have to remove all the total quantity of iron by using uh, high strength magnetic separator this is not one step process because we have to fix uh, high intensity magnetic uh, separator to relevant places but it's uh, practically we can easily explain this one because later on we can discuss plants quartz plant and then we can uh, see where we'll fix the high intensity magnetic separator low grade also sometimes uh, we have to do leaching process also initially or oh, after we can crush we have to produce powder and then we have to remove majority large quantity of ions we call the total line and after that we have to do the leach 
but however high grade also sometimes may be leach uh, to remove uh, extra amount of iron after leaching high grades after leaching low grades then we can check whether they are purity that's if purity is not up to significant level then again then we have to go to uh, plot plotation process using plot plotation process then we can produce uh, higher quality uh, very high uh, purity quartz okay in this case you can understand you never mix up uh, high grade quartz as well as low grade quartz we have to separate uh, we have to process separately but uh, if you mix these two it will um, it may be a problem when you are doing leaching and then plot rotation this is the practical problem okay then however but if you are going to produce if you are going to evaluate uh, to quartz so then we have to prepare high grade 99.9996 quality uh, silicon dioxide uh, uh, quartz so then in briefly say we have to take high quality lumps then we have to crush we have to produce chips and then we have to produce powder this powder uh, will be subjected to a magnetic separator then we have to remove large quantity of ions we can remove up to certain level after that then we have to do leaching process and we have to further we have to remove iron because uh, still some iron particle within the quartz particle but uh, material is subjected to a leaching process more and more uh, iron particle can be liberated similarly low grade quartz also we have to produce chips and we have to produce powder then we use a magnetic separator high intensity magnetic separator we have to remove total uh, iron percentage and then after that we have to do some leaching process and we have to purify up to certain level but sometimes we can't achieve the 99 plus but we can achieve if you say 98 97 we can use this uh, part into another industry okay after that then we need to more purification we have to go to uh plotation so then in the both case now you can understood how do you purify how do you process material to produce some special product so that's why then you can understand the uh, this process if you understand this process we can easily uh, upgrade it enhance this quartz material and do more value at and produce uh, higher quality uh, electronic items okay uh, thank you very much